Well, hi. So today we are making fire starters because we are going camping tomorrow. So right now we are going to make more egg carton fire starters. So if you want to make fires at your house, we can go for that. <laughs> so you're doing some with sawdust in the yep. bottom and some without? Um, so yeah. So here we've got, we're going to do three without sawdust in them. So we just took our huge ball of lint and we just broke off little squares and kind of stuffed them in there. Uh -huh. Um, into each carton piece. Got our wax melting and our double boiler. We'll explain that a <laughs> this little bit. This is tin pan over boiling water. So uh, you can't melt paraffin directly in a pan because it's so flammable. Paraffin. Oh my gosh, where did our um, uncle get that? Where did yeah, your uncle get from that? his house or a house that he was looking at or something. An old vacant house. Uh -huh. He found that huge block of wax. So it's not clean totally. You can see around the edges here there's a little bit of dirtiness. So we took just a basic household pot, and then these little pans we make zucchini bread in Yay. all the time. Little Love tiny loaves that we bread. give to neighbors and good stuff. And so we just put our paraffin in there. Like, Ooh. How much do I need? Um, I don't know. That just enough be... to, that it holds down, right? Yeah, something like that. And then um, just pour this to what you need, what you think will work for you. Okay. And we have this crappy old cookie sheet underneath us that yes. we don't use for food purposes. It's our crafting cookie sheet. And as you can see here, do I have to get whoops. these parts all wet? Um, no, not really. Okay. So these ones, you can look at these. We just took a carton, egg carton like this and put, we took an egg carton right here and just put the sawdust in it and it turned to this darker color when it, now it's like soaked with wax. I can't believe how hard it got. Um, and I really did not think this would work. I thought that the sawdust would come out. Yeah, but no, it's pretty well. It's in there. <laughs> in there. It solidified, and now you have a hard, sort of candy looking thing. Um, this has a burn time of about 12 minutes. And then I went on a little adventure and I rolled up pieces of cloth and tied them together and made little candles as we have here um, and these had about a burn time of five minutes which was a long time to start a fire um, they light really easily you got your little wickiness here like so um, and those I put in just a medicine bottle 